I need to get into some pros and cons of the differences of the cities because Houston's food truck industry is a lot different than Philadelphia. Like, I'm not even going to hold you. It's way different. <laughs> this pro is definitely that the city of Houston is so freaking big. Like, it's huge. So you basically double your market, whereas Philadelphia is a little bit smaller than Houston. So um, it's just a smaller market. And that's like, you know, it's a pro and a con. Um, the thing is about Houston, though, there's no street vending. <laughs> and I know that might sound crazy because what is a food truck? Like you vend on the street. But the concept of street vending is basically you pay for your license through the city and then you can vend anywhere in the city that's permitted. That's how it is in Philadelphia. There's a map and you can vend anywhere on those street that's open on the map. In Houston, there's no street vending. So what does that mean? You have to vend on private property. <laughs> And I'm gonna explain to you why that makes it a little bit difficult. <laughs> so having to vent on private property basically means that you have to get permission from private property owners to vent on their property. Um, what that means is there's no regulation when it comes to the rules or what's required. You just have to get permission from private property owners. They have to give you a bathroom. They have to give you access to water, parking period. That's it, right? What that means is they can charge whatever they want. <laughs> they can charge whatever they want. They can require whatever they want. There's no regulations. And the whole point of having a food truck is that you don't have overhead like a restaurant. That's why you get a food truck instead of a brick and mortar location. In Houston, that possibility is a little bit, you know, it's basically taken out. Now you have to account for overhead. You have to pay somebody a monthly fee to vent on their property. Or there is another option, and we'll talk about that. The other option is to vend at places that ask you to come because they don't have a kitchen. Um, and then in that case, a lot of those places don't charge you anything, and they allow you to vend in exchange for your service. So, for instance, there are a lot of bars and bear gardens here that don't have kitchens so they ask food trucks to come every day and they rotate rotate them out and they don't charge the food trucks because it's a win-win for their business they have the alcohol you bring the food and you know that's how you get away from that overhead but the issue is that you constantly are moving around so it's hard to build a customer base because your people have to find you and follow you throughout this big ass city <laughs> so right now i do a combination of both so that I can meet my customers needs and demands and that I don't really have a lot of cons about Houston and the crazy thing is the style of food that I make I feel like it's performing way better down here because before back home I used to get harassed about my food being spicy so people would always before they try the food they would be like Cajun is it spicy firecracker is that spicy mind you none of my food is particularly spicy um, that's just the descriptions of the spices that I use. And then the sauces on the side might have a kick to it, but the food itself isn't. I don't deal with that down here. The people down here are like, can you make it hotter? <laughs> Which is awesome. So what I try to do now is just like, you know, share my journey, share my life and just talk about it. Um, the other thing is on the other, the dancing app, I go live when the food truck is open. So like, you could pull up on me, order food, and then click onto the live and watch me make your food, which a lot of people enjoy. And I enjoy it too, y'all. Like, I feel like I'm building a sense of community. YouTube is a completely different monster. Okay. First of all, the comments be unhinged. <laughs> they be unhinged and I be freaking dying, okay? I used to do makeup for a long time. <laughs> Um, like right out of high school, I used to do it as a side hustle and I actually did start like a YouTube channel to put stuff on there, but I gave up on it because I was so like self-conscious to like sit and talk in front of the camera. Um, so it's kind of weird that I'm back doing <laughs> makeup, but like talking about being in the food industry. And then I was also an EMT. My life is weird, y'all. It, it is all over the place. <laughs> when I do my makeup, my moles get covered up, so... And then the last step for me is just mascara, y'all. I don't wear eyelashes unless it's like a birthday or something like that. Or something like, um, 
like where I'm be taking a lot of like professional photos because your makeup doesn't really pop when you don't have eyelashes on. Um, but I personally don't like eyelashes because I feel like they make you insecure. I used to get them all in ninth and 10th grade, the thick black ones. And like, I hated the way I look without them. And I started to become dependent on them to feel confident. So that's why I don't wear them anymore. And now I actually love my eyelashes. So I'm gonna rock with these. Mascara, no mascara. This one from Sephora, y'all, it eats. Okay, now it's time to get in my favorite part, the lips. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing I do is I go in with this, this pencil from the crayon case. I'll go in with the brown and connect it. And this is just NYX. This is the lips line. And then I go in with NYX Butter Squatch. And yeah, it's really simple. And then I'm going to go in with Creme de Nude from MAC. And then I'm going to go in with Creme de Nude Okay, the last step of the day, this is the makeup look. And honestly, I feel like if you don't spray your face, your makeup doesn't come together. So yeah, let's just spray my face. Like you have, I have to. And I'm using this. I know it's expensive, but she gets the job done okay mm -hmm. uh, here's the finished look <laughs> this is a quick little beat no eyelashes no eyeshadow this is just like kind of like my you know cute little one too we need to figure out something to do with this damn hair our makeup is done and yeah what the hell what the hell but i hope that this video was helpful and i appreciate you guys coming along with the journey um and yeah follow your greedy good girlfriend bye